Hi, it's Darnell with Whalen Recipes, and today I'm going to be cooking up some St. Louis spare ribs in the Instant Pot and then boiling them in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. The Instant Pot and the New Wave Bravo make for a nice combination, and so we're going to get started with those St. Louis spare ribs right now. Alright, so I've got myself some uh, St. Louis style pork spare ribs here. It's a total of about nine and a half pounds. Don't think I'll necessarily get them all into the Instant Pot, but you know, we'll try and see how much of these slabs we can get in comfortably. Inside my Instant Pot, I'm going to be putting in about a cup of apple juice. It's probably just a little more because it was the end of the bottle, but just gonna use basically one cup of apple juice and one cup of cold water. So then goes my cup of cold water. Now what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'll get these St. Louis spare ribs unpacked, get the main membrane off the back, and then I'll bring you back for all the next steps. All right, so the now nine pound cryo bag has three slabs in there. I've gotten all the membranes off the back of all three of them. You just stick a knife underneath and you gotta use some paper towels and pull. What I'm gonna do here, I'm going to take two slabs and just try and cut them into about quarters. So just gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm not gonna do any trimming of any of the excess fat that I see, although I do see some excess fat that I could trim. I'm just gonna leave whatever excess is there on there. All right, now what I'm gonna do that I've got them cut, I'm going to cover them with some Weber dry rub. And uh, as I cover them with rub, I'm gonna be putting them into the pot and we'll see, we'll see how uh, much we can get in there. All right, it's about as I suspected, probably only gonna get about two slabs worth in. Third slab, I'll have to reserve for uh, separate use, but uh, we're basically filled to the brim with those two slabs in there. Well, filled to probably right about that line that your two-thirds line you're probably supposed to not go beyond. So I'm going to stop there. Okay, so the third rack, I dressed those up too. I, you know, cut and season those and I put those in the fridge. I'll do those in a separate cook, um, probably with a different cooker. But uh, for these, about six pounds of St. Louis spare ribs were filled up to our max capacity in our in Instant Pot Ultra 60. So to close up, you want to have your ceiling closed so that uh, things are nice and tight for a high pressure cook. So I'm going to go into pressure cook and I'm going to go into time and I'm going to increase time to 25 minutes. I'm going to do 25 minutes high pressure cook and I'm going to do a 15 minute natural release, meaning that I'm going to let them set 15 minutes after cooking to depressurize and they'll continue to be you know in there nice and hot and still that meat will be cooking some more but 15 minutes of that natural and then I'm gonna let the rest of the pressure out after I turn the camera off I'll move this um, so that it's not as close to being under my cabinet but uh, just from there gonna go ahead and hit start and I'll bring you on back when this is uh, you know finished cooking and all all right, we are almost at 15 minutes on our uh, natural release, so I'm just spraying the baking pan lined with foil for the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. Yep, we're down to our last minute. Um, one more minute and I'll just go ahead and hit the pressure release. Now we're at 15 minutes of release time, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pressure release button. All right, pressure release just finished. So it took 25 minutes for things to get up to pressure. 25 minutes to cook. So that was 50 minutes plus 15 minutes of natural pressure release. Basically an hour, five minutes uh, total cooking time. You know, if you want to add in the time it takes for the pressure release, you can add in a, you know, a couple more minutes or so, but about an hour, five minutes total so far. And now we've got our ribs there. 
I'm going to just get a meat probe into one just to get a gauge of temperature of the meat. And it's super tender. These are super tender. I mean that meat probe slides in there like butter. So let's see where the temperature goes. As long as they're above 165 we're good. And we're going to get way over 190 probably. Yeah, we're, we're in a good uh, slow and low done temperature, so that's pretty good. It came out very, very good there. All right, so take this meat probe out. See, we're at up to 203 as I'm getting the meat probe out. Now I'm gonna just take each of these pieces of rib. And what I'm also gonna do, I gotta get my smart oven started up. I'm gonna get hit menu until I get the broil. So it's set to that broiler, that's 500 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're one who likes to sauce your ribs, now is the time that you would apply your sauce. I would not do uh, apple juice on top of these before broiling them because the New Way Bravo, you know, tends to give off smoke if you're cooking something that makes a lot of smoke. It doesn't hold it in. So uh, if you put apple juice on top of these, they're probably going to have a lot of excessive smoke once that heat hits them because that sugar in there, apple juice, if you spritz them with it, is going to make a lot of smoke. I'm thinking I've got as much as I can get in on this round of the broiler. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just cover up what's left. I just, hit the, I just hit the pressure release again for those still in there, but I'm leaving them in there, leaving them on warm so they'll just stay warm. And these I'm going to stick into the New Way Bravo. And I've got things set up to broil. So I'll just hit, hit start. And that gives them 10 minutes of broiler time. And I'll bring you back and we'll do the second set once this set is done broiling. Okay, as things are broiling, I just wanted to show you that uh, there's a little smoke that's been coming out since four minutes into the broil, but nothing, not too bad. I'm going to let them keep going. But I wanted to show you, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little line of water, and I can just use this napkin to, well, I don't know if you can see that either, but basically there's so much moisture from those ribs that it's causing moisture. Well, there was more, there's moisture here on the front window. It was all the way up, you know, over the thing with moisture. And there's like a little moisture coming out of the smart oven, dripping from the smart oven, because those ribs are so moist. So uh, three more minutes to go for this broil. I'm going to let it continue even though there's a little smoke coming out. It's not too bad and we'll get those on out of there in three minutes. All right, getting to the final seconds. I'm going to hit cancel when it uh, ends so it doesn't keep beeping. All right, time to open up and you can see, well let me turn the light on and see these ribs and now that I've got racks that work decent I can kind of present there and let you see without the rack falling down. Isn't that nice? Look at them how they fall off the bone there. They look good. All right, I'm just going to get uh, this first set off here. And what I want to do now, I just want to cut a bone off for a taste test. I'm just going to turn this around so I can get an easier cut on it. Wow, it's like falling off the bone for real. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the rest of these, put them in a container, and then I'm going to start working on the next batch getting in, into the uh, broiler. All right, now I'm going to get the uh, next batch out. Put those on the, on the baking pan so they can get a broiling. All right. Whoa, he jumped around a little bit. I'm sure the broiler will take care of him. All right, that's all that seems to be in there. So I'm just going to unplug my Instant Pot because I won't be needing its services anymore. Got to put these up on the broiler. Let them have their turn. And they go. And got to start the Bravo again. Get the menu to broil. Start. And let those run. And bring you back. All right, getting down to our final seconds, and I will hit cancel or on-off button as we just reach the end there. 
So have a look at these. Let me get that light on again. And that's our second batch. Those sat in the pot a little longer. They look pretty good too. All right, just gonna get one off and just cut the bone. I think this one will definitely be tastier than the first, the way this one got boiled. Wow, I think the meat's like shifted off the bone. All right, I'll just set the rest of these here in the container. I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera swap and we'll do a taste test of these St. Louis ribs from the Power Air Fryer, uh, look, these St. Louis ribs from the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven that were initially cooked in the Instant Pot. All right, here's our ribs. They look like they've uh, nearly fell off the bone, but I'm just gonna taste them straight up. I mean, the meat's falling off the bone so much, I'm not even gonna try to pick up the bone, just pick up some meat. All right, just had a little piece of bone there, but that was from the first set that went into broiling. That was pretty good. Now this is the uh, bone from the second set. It's very good. You know, falling off the bone, only 25 minutes cooking. I just give them a 15 minute natural release afterwards but they turn out real good and so um, you know that's all I can say the combination of the uh, Instant Pot and the New Wave Bravo Echo Smart Oven works great every time so you can find printable version of this and other recipes there's a link in the description to my superwaveovenrecipes.com blog also if you want direct access to this YouTube channel anytime you can just point your browser to waveovenrecipes.com It'll bring you right to the home page for this YouTube channel. Also, on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes, there will be pictures of this and there's pictures of other cooks on Instagram at Wave Oven Recipes. Patreon page, patreon.com slash Wave Oven Recipes. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. And good eating.